Netflix has decided to pull the plug on selling Tampa after just one season, and fans aren't too happy with the decision. Last week, it was announced that executive producer Adam DeVello decided to cancel the Selling Sunset spin-off. The show followed Sorel Risato's Allure Reality, where she serves as the head broker and runs a team of agents who are all women of color. It helped highlight more diverse representation in the real estate market and showcased the beauty of Tampa. However, the Tampa market was too slow for viewers, and Adam opted out of returning for a second season. Amid the cancellation, Reddit user U, Skippy Squeeze 01 shared the news with the community of Selling Sunset franchise fans, and many expressed their disappointment in the Selling Tampa spin-off being axed. Dang I would have rather seen them than the OC cast SMH, one fan wrote. I wish they'd cancelled OC and renewed Tampa for five more seasons, added someone else. Others agreed the show had potential to grow and develop compelling storylines and cast dynamics that would have reeled in more viewers as the seasons progressed. I didn't find OC interesting at all, but I loved Tampa, one Redditor said. Selling Tampa fans errant surprised the show was cancelled another shared why they assumed the show would be cancelled. Expected it to happen with the lack of news of AS2 since it premiered, but definitely disappointed, they quipped. Once the cancellation was made public, cast member, Juana Colbert, spoke out and blamed Selling Tampa for being called on racism. From the looks of it, some fans agreed and noted the lack of promotion Selling Tampa received. Of course it did. It was really good and diverse. Of course, they'll cancel it, one fan wrote. Disappointed but not surprised at all seeing how Netflix did the bare minimum re-promotion, added one Redditor who also noted how mad they'll be if selling the OC gets another season. Juwana revealed how Adam, the show's creator, called the ladies via Zoom and broke the bad news. He credited the decision to numbers, but an inside source says the Tampa spin-off was the number one streamed show on the day of its premiere. The insider also said producers received hundreds of daily calls from fans in the last year asking when Selling Tampa Season 2 would be returning. There had been criticism around the time the show premiered by fans who felt like the show didn't show the ladies selling as many homes as the agents do at the Oppenheim Group. With Tampa being an entirely different market than Los Angeles and the Allure ladies being a predominantly all-black team of women agents competing in a male-dominated industry, the odds might be not always been in their favor. Selling Tampa followed Allure and its goal to become the top luxury agency in Tampa. Toward the end of the season, Sorrell expressed her hopes to expand the office into the Miami market. There were in-office quarrels that primarily centered around Sorrell's management style and obvious favoritism of Selling Tampa star Juana. Rena Frazier helped stir the pot after becoming a broker herself and deciding to open her own agency and recruit some ladies from Allure. Selling Tampa certainly had the potential to produce some juicy storylines if the show continued. Unfortunately, fans will have to just wonder what could have been. Source, you, Skippy Squeeze 01, Reddit.